Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be building a house using only the most expensive items in Bloxburg. So I'm going to have to be using the most expensive roofs, doors, windows, baths, literally everything. But as you can see, I only have $23,000 right now, so we are going to have to go to work before we start this challenge, because I imagine we're going to end up spending hundreds of thousands. Now with all that said, let's cue the quick work montage. Okay, you guys, so as you can see, now I have over $150,000. I really hope this is going to be enough. I'm sure it should be. So I'm on an empty plot and let's just get straight into this. So this video isn't like meant to make the house too massive. It's just going to be filled with everything that's the most expensive. So I am just going to build the outline of the house first. And like I normally do in these videos, I'm not going to do too much speed building. I'm going to talk through the process. So I feel like I do want it to look like sort of a fancy house. I thought we should have a wall at the beginning and then like walls like this either side. And then I'm gonna do sort of like a unique shape on the side. So maybe something a little bit like this. And then we're just gonna do the same on this side and on the top. Okay, so I've done the top. But I did actually leave room for a balcony on that side, but on this side, there's not a balcony. And oh my gosh, you guys, I've just gone to do the roof and I've realized obviously we have to use all the most expensive stuff. So we're gonna have to use this ugly roof. I really wanted this one. And then what color do we want the house? I think I'm gonna go back to my roots and use white. And oh my gosh, what is going on with this roof up here? Why is, what? It looks like a crane or something on the house. And then I think I'm gonna go for a little bit of a darker gray on the front and on the sides. And I think actually the back looks a little bit flat. So I might add like a little extra bit on the back too. Now next we're gonna add the wall trims on the outside. And we've gotta use the most expensive ones, no. These are so ugly. This is gonna ruin the whole house. There's no point in even coloring it. Well, I suppose if we just do this and color it brick. Oh my gosh, you guys, have we just found a new building hack? That literally looks so cool. That's like a little bit of texture on the bricks. Wow. We could actually just change the color of the top one. And there we go, you guys. I actually think that looks really nice. Doesn't it? It looks really grand. Anyway, I also like to do pillars on the outside of my house. And oh my gosh, these are the most expensive ones. These aren't that pretty. But we actually have the resize tool. So maybe if we make them like bigger. And then if we resize them to be like as tall as the actual building itself. Okay, so I'm just adding these all around the house now. I didn't actually realize how expensive they were. $694. And then last but not least, we need to add doors and windows. Now I'm really nervous because I don't know what the most expensive windows are. Oh my gosh. It's these wide modern ones. Look, these windows do not go with this house at all. Can you resize these? Because if you can, oh, you can. Right, maybe we could fix this. Oh gosh, that does not look good. Well, that doesn't look too bad, does it? If we did like two of these. I mean, from the back, it actually does look quite cool. But I just personally don't like these modern windows. Like modern isn't my favorite style of house. But I feel like that does look okay. There is quite a lot of windows. But guys, look, we've already spent literally 60,000 on the outside. I actually might have to go back to work. I did not realize how expensive this video would be. Oh no, what's the most expensive door? Please don't be a garage door. Oh my gosh, it's a revolving door. This is gonna look like a hotel or something. And I've just done a really simple texture for the roof. This is the most ugly roof I've ever seen. I think I'm gonna have to change this. I've slightly changed the roof. I raised it and made this bit go over here. And I think this looks a little bit better. And now I think it is finally time to move inside. And so obviously there's only one type of wall. So this is technically the most expensive wall. So I don't know how I want the layout to be. I think I want a corridor in the middle and then like rooms either side. And then, oh my gosh, what's the most expensive door? Surely we cannot use this revolving door for every door. It won't fit. It actually won't fit, guys. So we'll have to use the next smallest one. Right, that's too big as well. What's the next smallest one? <gasps> A bookshelf as all our doors. Oh my gosh. This is just looking so crazy. So let's just try and add some normal looking wallpaper. Actually, there's no point in adding wallpaper because we just have to use these wall trims, don't we? Does that look good, the vertical stripes? I feel like that looks really weird. But I'm just going to keep it anyway because this house looks weird enough. Okay, so I've added all the wall tiles and I'm actually going to colour these doors as well. And I feel like we should put some effort into the floor. So I'm going to do some checkered marble 
And there we go, you guys. Okay, I've added the floor in. Now, what room should be the kitchen? I don't know why I'm feeling like this room should be the kitchen. Uh, these are the most expensive. This looks like we're in some sort of hotel. Oh my gosh, this is literally turning into a hotel build. No, this is a house, just a very fancy house. And I quite like that default colour, so I might just leave it as that. And I think I want to have a little table in here as well. So this bit over here can be like the kitchen. Oh my gosh, the appliances. I just know they're going to be so expensive already. This is the most expensive oven. This is the most expensive fridge. We have just spent 15 grand on an oven and a fridge, guys. And then we need to add some appliances. The good thing is there's only one blender. So that can be pretty cheap over here. And there we go. Voila, our kitchen is done. Then, of course, I'm going to add a dining room as well. But I do want, like, a little seating area in here. I was just about to say, let's do a cute circle table. But we probably can't. Let's see what the most expensive table is. Oh, my gosh. This is the dining room table, guys. What's the most expensive chairs? Oh, these chairs are actually nice. And then let's just colour these. And there we go. This is our amazing kitchen, you guys. I do want to add a little storage unit in here. So, who knows how much the most expensive one's going to be. This is the only storage unit they have. But I suppose it goes kind of well with the kitchen vibe. But we need to actually add a light. And I'm really scared that the most expensive light's going to be like a massive chandelier that won't even fit. And it is. And then we can actually resize this, to be honest. And there we go. Our kitchen is done. And that literally costs us tens of thousands. So I feel like opposite should be the dining room. And yes, I know this is the most expensive. But again, we've got to make it look some sort of realistic. So I'm just using the second most expensive one. And then of course, we've got to use the most expensive chairs. And I do actually want some bookshelves in here. So the unit we're going to have to use to display bookshelves is this one. Again, the second most expensive. I hope you guys don't mind. But obviously, we can't display books in a food storage display. And oh my gosh, I've just realised we probably can't even get books because they're not the most expensive decoration. Now, obviously, I know the golden egg is the most expensive. I'm sorry. I, I cannot afford a $120,000 egg. But what I can afford is this is the most expensive, like, normal thing because these are all trophies. And what else? Wow, this massive head thing. Wow, that looks so lovely. And then we may as well just bring the same light in here because not like we're going to be able to use another one. And there we go, we've coloured that. So that's the dining room done. Then over in the back corner over here, I feel like this should be the living room. And thank goodness it is small. So the most expensive table is this one. So we're going to have to use this for the TV. And then what's the most expensive TV? 4,300. Wow, this is big. Then what is the most expensive sofa? Oh my gosh, I thought it would have been this one. But it's actually these. These are quite nice. And then I want some sort of instrument in here, like a piano. But I just don't know if it's going to fit. I mean, we could put it like coming out of the wall. Because this is the most expensive like piano. And then again, the most expensive light we're going to have to use is this one. And the last room I want to do is just a laundry room. So what's the most expensive washer and dryer? Oh, these ones. Surprise, surprise. And then we're going to get some of this stuff because this is the most expensive ironing board. This is the most expensive mop. That's the good thing about when there's only one of the thing in the game. It's technically the most expensive. And then I do actually want to add some counters in here, which means I'm going to have to use these. And oh my gosh, guys, my money. I'm going to have to go back to work in any second now. But anyway, let's just put some laundry into here. And I can't even add a light, guys. This whole thing so far has already cost us over $150,000. And look, it looks insane. It literally looks like a crazy person built it. But I'm not going to spoil too much yet. I am going to go back to work for a minute. And I will see you all when I've earned a lot more money. And there we go, you guys. I've just worked for another $75,000. I really hope that this is enough money to complete the build and the challenge okay so let's get straight back into this and finish up the laundry room so i think i want some cabinets in here so of course we're gonna have to use the most expensive ones again and to be fair the default color on that i actually quite like and there we go i think that's the laundry room done this is gonna make me look like such a bad builder guys i promise i'm not that that bad at building now another thing i noticed is that i didn't actually add any stairs in so i think the only place they're gonna fit is if we actually get rid of this back door here and just have it as a window the most expensive stairs you guys are these ones because these are elevators and escalators so i don't count them the most expensive actual stairs are these and these are so big they don't even fit in unless maybe we did it this way and now it's time to do upstairs so we have seventy thousand to do upstairs okay so i've added the floor in, and first things first we need to add fences around the stairs and oh my gosh the most expensive ones are these massive titan bars these do not look very good in a house do they and that just looks so bad but anyway so i think this over here should be like the master bedroom and then this side can have like two bedrooms and these are actually some nice size bedrooms. And then I think the master bedroom should have its own ensuite. 
So again, we don't get any choice in the walls up here. And then we need to add the doors. And we all know what doors we have to use, these ridiculous bookshelves. I didn't realise how small this upstairs landing bit was, but it's fine. Now I'm just going to give a big light into this main bedroom. So let's start with the bathrooms. I think, what is the most expensive bath? So the most expensive bath is this antique one. So let's put that in both of these bathrooms. The most expensive toilet is this one. This isn't even that nice. And then of course we've got to put toilet roll and towels and stuff in. What I have just thought to do is do some bathroom tiles like this to at least switch up a little bit. And that actually looks quite nice, I think. And then one more thing that I've just thought to add is mirrors, which can have to have like a ceiling to floor mirror in the bathroom. Then for the bedrooms, the most expensive bed is actually not nice at all. I really don't like this bed, but you know, we don't really have a choice. So we've got to put this in all of the bedrooms. Okay, so I've just coloured all the beds. Now we need some bedside lamps. So the most expensive standing lamp is this one. Oh my gosh, guys, look how silly this looks. Then I want this space to be like a little sitting area in the master bedroom. So again, we've got to use the most expensive sofas from downstairs. And then I'm going to add a carpet. And I don't actually know what the most expensive carpet is. Oh, it's a checkered one. And there we go. It's a little bit glitchy. But, and the most expensive dress is this stylish one. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know this was in the game. And then we may as well add a closet in everyone else's room. Because this is the most expensive. Then we've also got to have a desk in everyone else's room. And this is the most expensive desk. And then I'm not going to be too creative with this just because we can't really be when it's this expensive. And then last but not least, let's put the most expensive decoration on each of their desks. And you guys, with all that said and done, the house is complete. So it is now time for the grand tour. Okay, so here you first walk in through this amazing revolving door. Then as we walk in, it's actually a little bit dark in here, but that doesn't matter. Then through here, we have our dining room lovely dining room very plain in here and we have our little dresser over here with oh a piano apparently sticking out then a really nice big window over here very grand i mean from this angle the house looks okay and then you turn around you're like oh my gosh there's a bookcase for the door but anyway just opposite we have the kitchen which we've oh, got different lighting in here and oh my gosh i forgot to do the balcony guys oh wow this is gonna be really good when it gets too hot in the summer so we have a really nice fridge and oven in here, really nice appliances, it's very detailed as you can see. Then we have our little kitchen table for if we just want to have a quick snack. Then if we go through here under the staircase, we have the laundry room which basically has all these cabinets and stuff. And this is probably actually the most detailed room. We're going to bang our heads on this massive chandelier. We have some laundry baskets over here, actually a lot of laundry baskets. I don't know how many people are going to want to live here. And then just some other bits and bobs over here. And then the last room downstairs is through this door. And we've got to really squeeze through this. And this is the living room. So we have a nice piano in here, a TV and some seats and a really nice light. So this is where you're going to rest if you're just like, yeah, had a really busy day wasting all my money on this house. Then we can go up the stairs, which is actually really tight squeeze as well, onto our lovely landing area. Wow, this does not look like a prison at all. Then in here we have our bathroom, which, oh my gosh, uh, why is this bathroom actually so nice? First of all, we have a skylight roof. Oh my gosh, why is there a floating roof over there? So we have a nice bath over here, a sink where you can brush your moustache, guys, because everybody has to do that. Now, these next two rooms are the most basic things you've ever seen. Oh my god, I can't even fit through this one. Okay, we're just gonna have to peep in through the doorway. We have a closet, a desk, and a bed, basically. Then in this next room, we can actually get into this one. It looks like you're in a cave, apparently. You have a nice bed here, desk again, and a closet. Then in here is meant to be the nicest bedroom. Let's see if that's true. Let's ignore the glitches. We've got a nice bed over here with a nice bedside lamp. Then over here we have a nice seating area, which is a bit glitchy, but no one cares about that. We have our little closet area over here, a desk, and then in here is our ensuite bathroom. This is so fancy. We have our own ensuite with just the same stuff that was in the other one. And that, guys, is the tour done. So if you're wondering how much the house came to in the end, it came to $226,000 for this medium-sized house, which is literally so ugly because the expensive stuff is not always the nicest stuff, you guys. But anyways, go and follow me over on Roblox if you haven't already. And I really hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one.